I guess I never really thought of like energy and how much we consume and learning about it just like made me be more aware. Sophomores were able to learn more from experts widening their view on electricity and consumption. They dug a little deeper into energy sources such as solar, coal, hydro, wind, and more, attempting to solve the question many experts are having trouble answering. What source is the best? Sophomore Inspire Week got our students out of the classroom and into town as they dove into electricity careers in the real world. Students dived into four groups, the San Juan Citizen Alliance, Juniper, Solar Barn Raising, and Weasel Skin. Each group had a different purpose while overall connecting to the larger story of energy. They walked away with the fact that they can solve big problems but they can't do it on a grand scale. Sometimes they have to start small and trust that that ripple effect works. Students dove right in, learning all about LPEA on day one. The first week was filled with adventure as they explored the world of electricity, meeting with experts from LPEA, such as Steve Smith, up in Biocito and over in Hesperus. Visiting these sites was an amazing opportunity for both students and the experts. No one had visited Biocito Dam since before 2001, so the workers were thrilled to engage with students and to build community connections. Got to see a lot about how energy, how renewable energy was made at the Hydro Dam, and then how that energy is kind of distributed out to everyone at the substation. When they turn this generator on and off, this generator has to sync up with every other generator in the western United States. The water is kept in the Biocito Lake and slowly filtered through a small tunnel underground that leads to these turbines and generators. The turbine moves the water around over and over, shooting energy up into the generator, which turns the kinetic energy into electrical energy. This electricity is then sent to the transformer, which manipulates the levels of voltage the power lines are dispersing amongst our homes. Typically, power lines shoot 380,000 volts, while the voltage we are receiving at home is closer to 120 to 230 volts. I think it's super important to uh, be knowledgeable in both sides uh, in order to understand the entirety of the argument and to strengthen your own argument. Whether we have coal or whether we have wind fields, no matter what, there's going to be some debate whether we're taking people out of the job force or whether it's bad for the environment or whether we won't have enough energy. In Humanities, students explored the ethical lens of energy by exploring a local case study, the purpose of Hesperus Solar Project. This exercise asked students to explore both sides of the debate happening in their own backyard with the hope of being able to see the full argument and perspective. The Hesperus Solar Project is a proposed project from a company out of California, Primergy that would take nearly 2,000 acres of Hesperus, including areas used by wildlife. The solar project would be the third largest in the state and produce roughly 155 megawatts of solar power. So I felt passionate about like saying no to this solar project because it's gonna put um, detrimental impacts on Durango as a whole. A lot of people don't wanna do it because it's in the middle of a wildlife corridor and it would like raise temperatures in the area, maybe. A lot of people do want it because it's a solar plant. It'll provide power for, I think, around 56,000 homes and provide like 150 stable jobs. Students studied both sides of this argument happening in our own town and gathered tons of evidence and proof to back up either side. It was time for a debate. They sat down in groups of two to three. Each group was assigned to a side of the argument, whether they truly were on that side or not, they had to fight for it. In the end, students were able to form in-depth conclusions about using the arguments from both sides to back up their claims. The physics and math world have a different way of looking at the world of electricity and our consumption of it. Students studied content for weeks before taking their knowledge home, where they looked into their own consumption of energy.
Students were tasked with going into their LPEA hub and finding the amount of electricity they were using on average. Then, they had to find the five appliances that were consuming the majority of it. After that, they were asked to create presentations with their findings and brainstorm possible solutions for each of these appliances and further introduce this research to their parental units. This project has changed my view of electricity in the sense that I will never look at power lines the same. Having a more like what's under the hood view of, of how our grid works has been really fun for me. Both students and teachers walked away with a new point of view on electricity and a deeper understanding of their own electrical usage from generation by sources like coal, water, or solar to transmission to consumption to their own homes. Um, Sophomore Inspire Week is part of a work-based learning experience that we offer to students in grade 10 and we try to offer work-based learning exposure to students in every single grade. So it's all part of this journey of, um, you know, what am I interested in? What am I good at? How can I do that in the real world somehow? And one of the best ways to, to figure that out is to just go and do things. Sophomore Inspire Week got our students out of the classroom and into town as they dove into electricity careers in the real world. Students dived into four groups, the San Juan Citizen Alliance, Juniper, Solar Barn Raising, and Weasel Skin. Each group had a different purpose while overall connecting to the larger story of energy. entirely coal based currently. Um, they're phasing it out but they still have tons of coal assets and we want to get out of that contract for several reasons. Our San Juan Citizens Alliance wants LPEA to get out of that contract because it's incredibly expensive and it's bad for the environment. This group was dedicated to community outreach and connecting to the San Juan Citizens Alliance. Right now in Durango there's an election to elect LPEA's District 4 council member which community member David Lucian is running for. He has a large background in the energy and electricity world and hopes to bring Durango closer to a greener and healthier lifestyle. The biggest skill that I gained over sophomore Inspire Week was communicating with our community. We were the ones who worked with uh, San Juan Citizens Alliance and some with LPEA to figure out how we're going to promote solar energy. Sarah's Sophomore Inspire Week group worked alongside David and the San Juan Citizens Alliance to campaign and fight to break LPEA's contract with Tri-State. Sarah's students handed out flyers on the streets of downtown, created chalk art at Buckley, but the biggest impact might have been Emma Burnett's speech at the actual election kickoff event, where she was able to communicate her voice, the teen voice, to the people of Durango. So Durango care. I believe we care. So as a community, let's take one step towards protecting the environment we call home, and let's work with LPEA to create a, a healthier, safer, and greener world of electricity for Durango. <laughs> with the younger community and spread the knowledge about energy and electricity then. The kids at Juniper and Florida Mesa got the opportunity to learn from people closer to their age than their typical teacher. Every time one of our kids got a windmill spinning when they tested it, everyone would start clapping and cheering and everyone would get all excited. These sophomores got the opportunity to create and design their own lesson plans to teach 4th and 5th graders at Juniper and Florida Mesa on Thursday and Friday. They built windmills and participated in interactive activities, keeping their minds engaged and their bodies active. Being able to like have that knowledge and then transfer it onto younger generations just made me feel like very content and proud of myself.
takeaway from my sophomore Inspire week was how valuable teamwork is in like pretty much any setting, specifically trying to drag solar panels onto a roof. The students in this group spent their week gaining knowledge about solar panels, how to install them, and building community connections. These sophomores worked alongside each other and a local company, Solar Barn Racing, to learn the ins and outs of solar. They got the opportunity to have a hands-on experience with the creation and installation of solar energy while working with members of the larger La Plata County community. You had a bunch of people on the roof, um, a few people on the ground, and then four people spread out on two layers of scaffolding and the ground people would pass it up to the first layer of scaffolding, who would pass it up to the second layer of scaffolding, who pass it up to the roof, where then people hold up the solar panel so that we can do the wiring, and then we hold it so that we can drill it into place. On Friday, students were tasked with assisting with a concrete cement pour. Students were so excited to work with a cement truck and get hands-on experience. I think it was really impactful for them to see a group of giggly little teenagers actually like focus and do work while still bringing our youthful energy into the project. When you talk to Jennifer and walk around the property and see archaeological sites and see what they do every single day, the way you look at the land is different. Yeah, there, there was a good bit of labor involved with measles skin, but I think it was kind of good to grow some work ethic for everybody. We did like a lot of meditation, just like in a big old field, and it was like super grounding nature. And we also got to see an entire hillside that got taken out by fracking, which she had claimed that the fracking has caused all of the rocks to decay and all the trees to die. And as we walked down, we saw that all of the native plants to that area were all dead from the fracking. That there's a sort of sense of pride there in seeing young people care about their community. Class of 2025 spent much of their second semester emerging themselves into the world of electricity. These students were walking away with their heads held high, brains full, and projects in hand. Each and every sophomore has created a masterpiece to represent their learning and knowledge about energy and electricity from this unit. Not a single student is walking away with little to zero knowledge of electricity, but with beautiful work and the ability to explain the ins and outs of electricity and energy. Like when I use my lights or when I like use the washing machine or like when I'm like, I don't know, I'm using electricity, I'm like more aware of like the impact that I'm leaving and the footprints that we as humans leave on Earth. I'll never let go, Jack. Do you know what the Rice Krispie Treat is? Yeah. Realizes uh, the details go. of the existence.